Now on WKRG News 5. Family continues to look for a missing man last seen in South Mobile County. Hear from the wife of Nicholas McCurchy on where her husband was seen days ago. And new developments after someone smashes homemade Christmas decorations at a home in Sims. Who is set to visit that house today after the crime is all caught on camera? Plus, the Baldwin County family is without a home after a Christmas Day tragedy. The major fire that destroyed a home in Spanish Fort and what a neighbor saw as the flames burned. From WKRG News 5, the Gulf Coast News Leader, the news starts now. Hello and thanks for joining us today for News 5 at Noon. I'm Haley Minogue in today for Devin Walsh. First on 5, we're tracking the weather. Cooler weather has already moved in, but rain could be here in just a few hours. Meteorologist Christina Andrus is in the Weather Center and has a first look at what we could expect. Christina. Yep, thanks Haley. So we're already looking at rain on our radar. Most of it is still out of outside of our viewing area, but the cool temperatures are here. We're struggling to even reach the 50s right now. But as we take a look, a bigger look at that radar right now, we can see just a couple of showers near Hattiesburg. Now these will continue to move into our area in the next couple of hours. Now current conditions at the Golf Quest, looking west at downtown Mobile, it's dry, it's 50 degrees, the winds are calm, and the dew point is a lot lower than it's been for the last week or so, so it's a little bit more comfortable out there, at least for now. Temperatures struggling right now, still in the 40s near Leakesville and Grove Hill. The rest of us all look to be in the lower 50s. So as we head into this afternoon, we'll reach 55 degrees by about 2 o'clock. We keep showers in the forecast from 6 o'clock on, so those showers will stay in the forecast overnight tonight. And into tomorrow morning and I'll talk about when we could finally dry out in your full forecast. Thank you, Christina. New at noon, family continues to look for a Wilmer man that's been missing for more than a week. Nicholas McCurchy was last seen in a shelter in South Mobile County. News 5 Chad Petrie has the details. A family in Mobile County is hoping for the best after their loved one goes missing. Ashley McCurchy says her husband left their home just about a week ago. Family members took him to a homeless shelter called Christ in Us Ministries in the Bayou Labatry, Irvington area. He was last seen there Tuesday, but hasn't been seen or heard from since. A representative at the ministry does confirm that Nicholas McCurchy was last seen there Tuesday night. Family members say he's been suffering from what appears to be mental health issues for at least the last year. Scared or worried. Um, he had talked to one man over there, but we didn't, we we're not sure who he was. Um, so I don't know if something happened while he was there, um, and he decided to leave. It's just, it's not normal for him to not contact anybody, especially his dad. They say they filed a missing persons report with the Bayou Battery Police Department, and they're praying somebody has seen him and will contact authorities. In Wilmer, Chad Petrie, News 5. Lynn Harrodsburg with the Christ in Us Ministry says he was last seen in their shelter wearing a plaid button down shirt, blue jeans and donker type shorts. If you've seen him or have any information, go ahead and call police. Right now, a North Baldwin County family is without a home after a Christmas Day fire. It happened in the Delta Woods subdivision in Spanish Fort. Firefighters say the homeowners discovered a fire in a closet and tried to put it out. It became too hot inside, so we left and called 911. First responders say the husband, wife, and their daughter made it out safely, but their home on Gravine Street has major damage. A lot of uh, damage. I mean, you feel for the people on Christmas and everything. It's, uh, you know, you wonder what happened. News 5 tried to get more information from firefighters, but the family asked them not to talk to media. Happening today, an investigator is set to visit Sims home, uh, Sims home where someone smashed the homemade Christmas decorations on the front lawn. The entire thing is caught on camera. In this video, you can see a person getting out of what appears to be a red Dodge Neon and smashing the decorations, including kicking them. This happened just before midnight on Saturday. Casey Phelps made the Christmas trees himself with his daughter out of PVC pipe. Family members say this is a frustrating and aggravating crime. To, to work hard on these uh, decorations I built, and my little girl, she helped me as well. And my wife, she absolutely, this is her favorite holiday. And it, it just, it's, it's, it hurts to know that, you know, best time of the year that someone wants to destroy and hurt uh, you know, other people. 
The family says they were also hit by the same vandals December 3rd. The video shows a group in a red Dodge Neon both times stopping in front of the home. If you have any information, call the Mobile County Sheriff's Office. Mobile police continue to look for suspects in a double homicide on Felix Street. It's a crime that's kept neighbors concerned during the Christmas holiday. The shooting happened Thursday night on Felix Street near Carver Park in Washington Middle School. Officials were responding to a suspicious complaint call when they found a 20 year old and a 19 year old with gunshot wounds. Neighbors say where the shooting happened is concerning because it isn't well lit and there are two vacant lots on both sides of the street. We're still working to get the names of those two men that were killed. If you have any information, go ahead and call Mobile Police. An accused serial bank robber accused of hitting banks across the Gulf Coast, including here in Mobile, is now in FBI custody. 33-year-old Miranda Maloney was arrested in Gulfport, Mississippi after police responded to a panhandling complaint. She was wanted by the FBI for a bank robbery in Phoenix, Arizona. Mobile police believe she's connected to two robberies in our area, one at PNC Bank on Highway 90 on December 4th, and the other was at Regions Bank on Airport Boulevard on December 19th. In all, Maloney is wanted for two robberies in Mobile, two in Louisiana, and seven in Arizona. New developments in, wa in massive wildfires burning in Southern California. The holidays have brought no break to the destruction and firefighters spent Christmas working to put it out. The Thomas Fire has now burned more than 281,000 acres and is already the largest in state's history. Nearly 1,600 firefighters spent their Christmas working on the front lines. Since December 4th, the Thomas Fire has destroyed more than 1,000 homes and buildings. At least one firefighter died. And for others, weeks on the line has taken a toll. One firefighter has spent more than 90 days fighting the fires in California after coming in from Oregon. But one sign of good news, winds should be low over the next few days, meaning efforts could be wrapped up sooner than expected. And now a News 5 update. Some people in Mobile will have to wait until after the new year to get their trash picked up. Trucks don't, didn't run on Christmas Day and they also won't run on New Year's Day. The makeup date for the holiday is now January 6th. You're encouraged to recycle any leftover holiday recyclables at any of the drop-off locations. Coming up on News 5 at noon, while President Trump is spending Christmas in Florida, he's thinking about the new year. See what his top priorities are for 2018 when we return. Welcome back to News 5 at noon. In political headlines, the president says he's focused on 2018 as he works at his Mar-a-Lago, Florida resort. CBS's Mola Lenghi is at the White House with a look at the agenda. President Trump sent out a Christmas night tweet saying it would be back to work today to make America great again. First item on the agenda, a round of golf at his Florida club. The White House says the president will be focusing on his 2018 agenda during his time at Mar-a-Lago. This was the president last Friday before leaving for Florida. I'll be working very hard during that Christmas because we have many things we're talking about, including North Korea, including uh, a lot of things happening in the Middle East. In addition to national security, the president's 2018 agenda includes a trillion dollar infrastructure bill to repair America's roads and bridges and a revisit of health care. President Trump pushed Congress to include a repeal of the individual mandate as part of the tax reform bill. This is a requirement that people buy insurance that they don't want and don't need. And that was one of the pillars of Obamacare, and we've gotten rid of that. The president tweeted this morning that because of the individual mandate repeal, he says Democrats and Republicans will eventually come together and develop a great new health care plan. Also on the agenda this next year, throwing a party. <laughs> president Trump ended his first year in office without hosting a foreign leader for a state visit. The last president to do that was Calvin Coolidge. Mola Lenghi, CBS News, the White House. White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders says there is no singular reason why President Trump hasn't extended a state visit invitation yet, but says the administration hopes to schedule one early in the new year. Now that the gifts are open, did you get something that you just didn't like? Next, just how many people are expected to hit the malls for returns and the important details you need to hear before heading to the return desk. And we were able to hold off the rain just long enough to make it through Christmas. But the wet weather will make its return tonight. I'll have it all timed out in your full forecast coming up right after the break.